Hi Scorpio, this is your June 14th through June 20th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands. We have the Tower. We have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups with the, the Fool and the Queen of Cups. And we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But you could also be dealing with pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. What jumped out at me right away is that we've got every single element on the table. We've got wands, we've got cups, pentacles and swords and we also got a, um, a couple of major arcana cards. What's important here is that you do not see it coming towards you. Perhaps you don't think this particular person is falling for you or they got a crush on you but this week this person is going to come towards you and uh, they will express their feelings for you we've got two aces on the table the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck this is a very straightforward very direct commu communication a conversation this is them coming towards you and telling you that they want to have a new beginning with you very straightforward <laughs> Uh, the Ace of Swords is also a, a sort of truth, so it could be a secret admirer revealing their feelings towards you, or it could be somebody, like I already said, somebody you already know, but they've always had some feelings for you and they just can't hold it within themselves anymore, and uh, they're here to uh, confess their love to you. So the first card I came out is the Ace of Cups and it's qualified by the King of Wands. The King of Wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or this person will be embracing the energy of the King of Wands this week. So they'll get really fired up, they'll get really passionate about you, and um, here they come with that Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck and also the Ace of Cups. Uh, the King of Wands is clarifying. The Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. It's always about authentic, genuine emotions. Then we have the Tower. So the Tower is uh, in this part all about something you don't expect. You do not see this coming or perhaps you never thought that this particular person had uh, feelings for you but here they come. The next, card I, the next card I came out is the Eight of Pentacles and it's qualified by the Three of Pentacles. That combo right there. Uh, sort of hints on the fact that you could be working with this person or this person in, is in some way associated with the way you make your money. Like I said, it could be a colleague, it could be um, somebody who works for a bank, if you go to bank all the time, right? <laughs> or perhaps this is somebody who works for a partner organization, somebody who you talk to on the phone from another company all the time. So, something among those lines. If it's not somebody you work with, then the Eight of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles symbolizes how serious this person is. This person is ready to put work and effort into this relationship. They are ready to concentrate on it. The Three of Pentacles is all about building something together from the ground up and making sure the foundation is solid because both people are interested in the success of this adventure. Right in the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups with the, the Fool and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, that is most likely you, Scorpio, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Two of Cups, the first card in the potential outcome, it's actually one of the best cards when it comes to love. This is when two people are on the same page. This is uh, soulmate love, this is unconditional love, and uh, this is when feelings are mutual. So that card, the Two of Cups, goes very nicely together with the Three of Pentacles, right? The Two of Cups is sort of sitting right on top of the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is also, like I was just saying, two people building a relationship. And the Two of Cups is also two people coming together, uh, falling in love with each other. Then we have the Fool right there in the middle. So the Fool is all about taking a leap of faith, having a brand new beginning. So chances are um, you will be accepting this person's love even though it's going to shock you <laughs> with that tower card. Um, but I think you will be giving them a chance with that full card. And with those two aces being on the table 
And the Two of Cups, as I was just saying, this is when two people are on the same page and the feelings they have for each other are mutual. Right? So, a very interesting spread. Scorpio, um, get ready. There is a confession or a secret admirer uh, coming and they're going to reveal their feelings towards you. And these are authentic, genuine, loving feelings towards you, Scorpio. Scorpio, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person going forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Scorpio, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Chariot, we have the Sun, we have the Hierophant, and we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Taurus. This looks just off the charts, to be honest with you. We've got three major Arcana cards and the Ten of Cups. Uh, these are all amazing major Arcana cards and uh, the Ten of Cups. Uh, these are all amazing cards by themselves and especially together. Um, the two of you or your family could be traveling or could be making travel plans. You could be going someplace warm. You could be relocating, physically, geographically relocating. And uh, the new place is uh, something you always wanted. Perhaps you're getting a bigger house. Um, if you were just... Um, in a casual relationship, you could be making it official, you could be taking this relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. If uh, you are already married, like I said, you could be traveling, or something will sort of kickstart it, or something will breathe fresh air, fresh spark into this relationship. And uh, if you were doing great, it's about to get even better. So, <laughs> the chariot, the first card that came out, it's either a cancer you're dealing with, or the chariot is all about moving forward. It's one of the best, it's one of the fastest cards in the deck. Uh, the chariot could symbolize travel plans, with the sun card being next to it. It could be someplace warm, right? So, the sun is uh, the happiest card in the deck. Like I said, you could be relocating, could be moving. The higher front right next to the deck. This is the personal Taurus card, but uh, in general the Hierophant is about something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. And the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is the Happily Ever After card, or this is a family card or a committed relationship card, right? So you connect the dots. This is uh, one of the best spreads in, uh, in a while, right? <laughs> Um, and it's, I really love when we have, uh, when I get short spreads with very few cards, but those short, small spreads tell the whole story, right? So in this spread, we've got the happiness, we've got two commitment cards, and we've got the chariot, which is all about moving forward or going places. So there you go. All you need to know. <laughs> all right, really happy for you, Scorpio. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also, keep in mind, we're still in Mercury retrograde, and this is when more exes than usual tend to resurface. We have the Page of Wands, we have the Devil, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. So the Devil card right there in the middle, it could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. If it's not a Capricorn, then this person... There's only one thing this person is interested in, and that is to have some fun behind closed doors, if you know what I mean. The page of ones, the first card I came out, this is them reaching out to you, and they could tell you straight up, let's just get together and uh, get busy. Because <laughs> the page of ones, this is a card of somebody who's flirting, somebody who wants to... Um, basically, they don't want anything except that little fun that I was just referring to, right? This is a very toxic person. They could be very tempting, very attractive, but that still doesn't change the fact that uh, once they're done, they'll be on their married way. Uh, we also have two fives on the table, the five of ones and five of swords. Both the cards of conflict, both cards are uh, sort of aggression. So um, nothing good is going to come out of uh, you getting back together with this person. Trust me. So, if I were you, I would send this person back to the past where they belong. 
Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Scorpio, this week. We have the Four of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Page of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, and we also have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. This week is all about waiting, Scorpio, for you, right? You'll be waiting for a message or information or a letter or a phone call, right? Three cards in this spread are about waiting or stagnation. So the hangman on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, this is a situation that is stuck, that is not moving anywhere because you can't move forward until you hear back from someone. The four of swords, the first card I came out, this is you basically, again, not moving, just waiting, patiently waiting. Speaking of patiently waiting, the next card I came out is the seven of pentacles and that's exactly what the seven of pentacles is about patiently waiting and here comes the message that page of once is that message that phone call that letter that you've been waiting for and I think it's going to be some good news because the page of ones is clarified by the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles when it comes to work business and finances this is financial abundance right so perhaps you were waiting for um, a message from a loan officer at the bank and the loan has been approved or you were waiting to hear back from an employer they'll let you know that you got the job something among those lines so the uh, the answer is yes with that page of once in a ten of pentacles something that will bring in financial abundance into your world all right cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen Scorpio this week uh, we have the lovers clarified by the fool we have the world we have the magician clarified by the tail of cups and we also have the high priestess on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with uh, Gemini wow look at that we've got five major arcana cards out of six cards and the sixth card which is not a major arcana card the tail of cups right next to the deck is also an amazing card and it really reminds me of the uh, very first spread I did for you, the new love spread and there is also an extension for that you can watch it if you want <laughs> um, so in the first spread uh, we had the full with the two of cups and um, at least one, actually two of the major iconic cards showed up in the extended so this is definitely about that so what you're not expecting is this person, the secret admirer it could very well be a secret admirer who is going to come towards you and uh, they are going to reveal their feelings towards you and it's going to be a very significant connection because the lovers, the first guy that came out, it could be a Gemini but I think the lovers, is, the lovers could also be a choice card but to be honest with you I don't think this is a choice here the lovers is uh, your soulmate, the lovers is a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames, the lovers is the love of your life. By the way, the two of cups is also a soulmate card, so this person is definitely your soulmate. That's why we have so many major arcana cards on the table, because it's so important. The world card in the middle, this is um, my happy end card, one chapter of your life coming to an end and a new chapter, a very happy new chapter is about to start. The magician is uh, this person, the secret admirer coming towards you, they're manifesting you, they really want to have this connection with you. The high priestess on the bottom of the deck is pretty much is about something hidden, so this is what you're not expecting to happen. The high priestess goes very nicely together with the name of the spread. All right, the full clarifying the lovers is you having a brand new beginning with this person, but this is what you're not expecting. Very important connection. Um, like I said, you can watch the extended or not, but there's some more good news in the extended. All right, really happy for you, Scorpio. All right, so this is what I got for you, Scorpio. Um, if this video resonates with you, please like it. And other than that, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.